Let's look at creating a professional learning community team with Microsoft Teams to host our quality assurance group. So create a new team as a professional learning community and give it an appropriate name. So in this case, I'm going to call mine's Computing Quality Assurance Group. And then press Next. And I will just skip adding people just now because I'm going to set up this team. And when it opens up, we're going to go to the PLC notebook. And the notebook opens up and it's pre-populated with sections and pages. So the first thing we need to do is to have a look at those sections and pages and then delete them because we want our notebook to be empty. So we're going to right click on each of the sections and delete those. So last page, remove that. And then we'll, in the, that first section, we'll add a welcome page, which we can use to host some instructions for the teachers. And we'll also create a page that's going to be a template for quality assurance. So I'll call this NQ template. And I'll just paste in a template I've made before. So this template hosts the assessment information, the opportunity to upload learner evidence and then spaces for teacher contributions to the quality assurance. So at this point, we're going to open up in the desktop OneNote app so we can add section groups, which will create a hierarchy for our group. So open in desktop app. And then here, we're going to use section groups to organize content. So right click new section group. And in this case, I'm going to start off with the section group for hire. I'm going to do the same again and create a section group for national five. And another section group for advanced hire. So there's no pages in here. It's just going to be groupings of different sections. So within that, I can choose one of them, let's go to Hire, and I now can create a section within that for one of the units within Hire. So within Computing, I can have a unit for Software Development, and I could have another section for my Database Unit. And I can also add sections for other things. So perhaps they got some exams or prelims you may want to do some quality assurance on. So we could have a section for prelims, for example. And I could also create a section for just learner evidence. So a section where we might want to upload the accumulation of a learner's evidence for computing. So written scripts or some coursework or whatever it might be. Once that's done, we can now then return to our other OneNote view, whether it be on the browser or in the app. And you can see that those section groups now have given us the ability to see the different things. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the template we made, and we're going to copy it, and we're going to put it into, let's say, the prelim section of Hire, and copy. And once that's in there, I'll just remove that untitled page that's there by default. So that template now, I can then give this a name, so some kind of unique name. So in this case, I'll use the initials for the school and say this is going to be prelim from learner one. And I can then copy that page again and we'll put it into the same folder. And let's do the same thing, so initials of the school and prelim for learner two. And I can just copy and paste those pages in. So I'm setting up the pages for each department or each school to upload the appropriate evidence to that section. And if I've got a number of schools involved, I may choose the AHS prelim for learner number one and copy and paste that again. Again, I could create pages in other sections. So for the portfolio of learner evidence, delete that on page again. And then let's just call that Learner Evidence 1, or Learner A from Whitehead High School, for example. 
Let me just copy that again. Change that to be learner B and C. So whichever name and culture you come up with, it's important that it's consistent because this will be the index in each of the different sections that you have. So this is us just setting up that, that team structure and that PLC notebook for the group of staff that are going to be involved in quality assurance. This is best done by one person uh, and once that group's all been set up and created, then you can invite other members of staff to join that team and they will have access to that notebook. And of course, you can add pages at any time or remove pages should you not need them. And in the next video, we'll look at how the members of staff can add content to each of those pages for the quality assurance discussions to happen.